A lot of people ask me about my hair care routine. To be honest, my routine is fairly simple. It's pretty much shampoo, conditioner, serum, and the occasional hair mask. This year, however, I started using the Zubi Halo hair dryer, and it's been a game changer. The main reason I was intrigued by the Zubi Halo hair dryer is because this is a much more sustainable option compared to the hair dryers we are used to. I was quite surprised to find out that a traditional hair dryer uses double the energy that a microwave uses. So you are quite literally baking your hair to dry it. I think we all know excessive heat is the reason for issues like split ends, color loss, breakages, and so on. And this is where the Zubi Halo really stands out. This hair dryer uses the light care technology. The idea is to use cooler air together with infrared light to dry your hair. This way, the heat does not penetrate the hair cuticle. This helps to retain hydration, leaving your hair glossier and shinier. If you do color your hair like I do, you'll be glad to know infrared is very gentle on the hair and it doesn't damage hair dye. I was using the traditional hair dryer before this and I used to think it's normal for my hair to feel really dry and brittle after drying. With the Zubi Halo, however, the difference is very noticeable. My hair feels smoother, more hydrated, and less frizzy. And because of that, I now don't have to use as much hair serum, and I also spend less time straightening my hair with the hair straightener. So overall, this little gadget has made quite a difference in the whole cycle of hair care for myself. And I can imagine over a long period of time, this will really help to improve the health of my hair. In my opinion, this is a very clever design, and I guess that's why they have it patented and trademarked. Apparently, the concept took inspiration from the nature. It's a bit like how you can air dry your hair in the presence of sunlight and air breeze. But with the Zubi Halo, it's a lot faster and minus the damaging UV sunlight. I mentioned the Zubi Halo is a lot more sustainable, and that's because it uses 60% less energy compared to a traditional hair dryer. So let's say if you dry your hair every other day for 10 minutes, the carbon dioxide you could reduce by using the Zubi Halo is equivalent to planting one to two trees. If you think about it, that's amazing for the environment and the planet. To be honest, I was a bit shocked at how fast the Zubi Halo can dry my hair. I was expecting it to take a bit longer, seeing the heat is not as extreme, but it's impressively efficient. In fact, I find the whole experience of drying my hair really pleasant. First of all, the hair dryer itself is a delight to look at. I think most people will agree that this looks really sleek, modern, and minimalistic. This is also quite small and incredibly light, so it's lovely to handle and maneuver. I think even if you travel a lot, this should be compact enough to pack away in your suitcase. Another massive bonus is this is a lot quieter. It's not completely silent, but it's nowhere as deafening as the traditional hair dryers. This is an amazing feature for me because I'm usually quite sensitive to noise. I don't listen to loud music and I do not enjoy going to the cinema. So for me, it's lovely to use something that doesn't sound as angry. Truthfully, I didn't expect this to make such a difference, but it did. With the traditional hair dryers, you know sometimes you up the heat because you just want to get it over and done with. But then you start getting a bit sweaty and you also feel like you're burning your scalp. With the Zubi Halo, on the other hand, it's a lot gentler but very efficient. I find the whole process of drying my hair a lot calmer and more pleasant. I use this on my little boy as well and he loves it. The Zubi Halo has four different settings. Care, fast, soft and style. The care setting scans your hair and then optimizes the dryer for you. The temperature setting is lower, which feels really comfortable. It's probably the most pleasant hair drying experience I've ever had. And I think this setting is perfect for a self-care day. 
The fast mode is best for drying your hair quickly while still keeping a low heat. This is the setting I usually go for on a normal day. The soft mode is more of a smooth airflow and that's also less light with this setting. This is ideal for very sensitive scalp. I usually go for this setting when I color my hair because my scalp can be a bit delicate for a week or so after coloring. You will also get the cool mode by holding the mode button. This will trigger a burst of cool air which will help to give your hair a shinier finish. The style mode is ideal to use with the attachments when you want to shape your hair. The Zubi Halo is designed for all hair types. Now my hair is fairly straight and this hair dryer works really well even without any attachments on. But it does come with three different attachments to accommodate to different needs. The first one is a diffuser which is designed to lock in waves and curls. The styling concentrator is for straightening and shaping your hair. And the gentle air attachment can dampen airflow even further, which is great if you happen to have a very sensitive scalp. It really does feel very soothing. I guess the only con I can find with the Zuby Halo is the price. These can be quite an investment to make, but at the same time, there are so many distinguishing features that set this apart from all the other hair dryers. I mean, the fact that this can save 60% energy is amazing enough. So overall, I think this is an amazing piece of gadget for personal care and it's definitely worth looking into. And you can find out more about them on zubilife.com. So that's it from me. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for dropping in and I will see you soon.